Okay. Just uh, so, tell me to shoot and I start shooting. Yeah, yeah. If you will um, shoot on the uh, Russian or Romanian channel. And yeah, I'll, I'll be shooting on Russian, of course. Yeah, and you and Dina, you, you uh, uh, take care of, of this together. We already agreed with Diana how uh, we switch. Yeah. Uh, we know it. That's our headache. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I'm switching off video. They don't need to see how I interpret. Mm. Mm -hmm. See you at some point tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's start uh, welcoming everyone. And uh, it's Carl who will uh, open this uh, interesting training week and this Carl, session. Let's see, let's see if people are listening. I'll uh, ask them something in Romanian. If they reply, I'll let you know, okay? Okay, because let's wait for We don't second. want to start uh, talking yeah. and nobody is listening. Yeah, well, it happens. So we can start. Some people are writing, they're replying somehow, and the rest will already will join during the few minutes. Okay, Come. so yeah, okay. So let's let's start. Let's shoot. Yeah. Okay. Good to see you. It's actually it's a great to see you. You are the uh, brave ones who have started now again this um, uh, training. Uh, which is I can't even remember how many times we have had it already, but but still there will be also in the future more trainings. And so be aware of those because you are very much needed here as well. Uh, so my name is Karlholm, perhaps you don't remember me. Uh, I work as an RTA for the project. And I have to say that greetings from Helsinki, where I am still sitting and, and, and waiting to, to return back to Kisinau. Perhaps next time I will be really in, in flesh and blood there as well. Uh, Esko is also in Helsinki and Vesayona uh, in Newcastle, like always. So, and you are in many places in, in Kisinau and perhaps even in, 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 in Moldova somewhere. But this is the, the great possibility to have these online courses and trainings like this, uh, which is, a, is a, technically speaking, very good asset. But of course, one day it would be also very essential to see you all in one room. So let's hope for that. So, like I mentioned, this next training early, early February. So, at least at this point, we are still thinking that it's possible for us to travel to Moldova. Um, I don't want to continue and, and, and use the time so much. I'm, I'm just really underlining and, uh, the, the, the good quality of these kind of courses. And, and of course, every, everything is to depends on you as well. And one thing which is very important for us, for the future, is the feedback. So when you will have the link for the feedback, please use it and say something which is, of course, good, and something which is, you recommend to change something, because this is the only method we can do something different for the next round. So it's very important. So I, I really ho hope you all the best and, 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 and see you soon. And, and, and so, Esko and Vesayona, so please, let's run. Yeah, thank you, Karl. Um, I think that um, I'm not aware of all the participants and uh, some don't have a name, but have some 
other kind of a sign there on the participant list. So I would ask you everybody one by one to uh, say uh, hi, tell from which uh, sector you are and if you are new, if you didn't um, uh, join us last time in September, please mention that uh, this is, this, this is uh, new to you with us. And let's start in the order that I see uh, the names on the Zoom participant menu. So uh, the first attendee there is Alexandra Raichi. Hello, how are you? And if uh, you don't have... She, yeah, she probably cannot hear us. She's busy, I guess. Okay. She, she's, to she's talking on the phone. Yeah. Uh, one reason I'm asking this is also that uh, I need to know which sectors are present because we have some kind of a team or individual uh, 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 assignment later on. And I, I want to check out which... Uh, sectors are here but let's come back to Alexandra later. So then on my list is Angela Botezatu. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. Dear colleagues, dear participants of today's Angela Botezatu, Center of Excellence in Economy and Finance. I tried to participate at all the workshops from last year. And I think my colleagues were the same. I was at the last, uh, I was at the part of uh, September workshop, but I successfully carried out all the tasks that you gave us, all the homework together with uh, my team from the Center of Excellence. Oh, you can check the Digital Matter website that we did our homework. That's so 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 nice to hear. And this is definitely something when we go back to the agenda later on, uh, this uh, completing the website is, is one, one essential things there. Thank you. Okay, um, next on the list is uh, Kasu Diana and it's a TIS. I'm not sure about this. So, welcome. I can't recall. Uh, DIS is actually an abbreviation of my uh, name. Uh, Alexei Matievich, Alexei Matievich College. We are teaching teachers. Uh, it's a continuity uh, for my uh, attendance starting with February, then uh, September. So, it's not for my first time. Regarding the homework, we're still working because we have a broader uh, scope. We need uh, uh, more specific preparation uh, for this uh, homework. So we're preparing our materials, digital materials. Okay, thank you so much. Nice to have you here as well. So um, the list is sort of living all the time. Now we got there, uh, the next one is Kochia uh, Sergio. Hello, Sergio. We have a small round uh, uh, about your yeah, sector and uh, who you are, but yeah, introduce yourself, please. Kochia Sergio, Center of Excellence in Constructions. From our last meeting, uh, we had more events. One of them, uh, the twinning uh, uh, Visayona Yesco participated is uh, we developed a course for training the trainers, which was assessed and which actually uh, was awarded uh, the, dig uh, the training on digital uh, skills in Europe. It's uh, you are also uh, part of your merits. You can be proud of us. We just started it. We are at the stage of teaching the teachers and preparing a group of teachers to develop the teaching materials. 
digital teaching materials which we will use at the classes for every subject within the institution teachers have a classroom they do the classes on google meet and uh, we, the assessment is done on different platforms we are motivating and teaching teachers to use these digital tools that we uh, learned even during uh, at your courses uh, starting with last year yeah thank you and congratulations and i'm very very delighted to find how you share your professional steps and development uh, on facebook and, um, and that's something very valuable and uh, i'm happy that the eu organizations have found out how good work you do that is something uh, uh we don't uh, go much further into that um, this week but that's something that i would like to uh discuss with you separately so uh, uh in the coming weeks uh, i would like to learn more about that so i will contact you so Thank you and welcome. Okay, um, now um, there was uh, just an, an addition just uh, in the list of participants. Uh, Angela Chirtoaka, uh, we are doing a round. Uh, so from which sector you are and uh, tell your greetings. Uh, how are you today? I'm from the Center of Excellence in Light Industry, head of teaching department. It's not my first time at this training. I participated also at the previous uh, uh, meetings in October. So that's all. Thank you and welcome. Good to see you back. So uh, now. The next one, um, I will go back a little bit because uh, in the alphabets, there is a uh, Bordian Vera has came here as well. Um, good, um, good afternoon and uh, could yeah. you <laughs> tell us uh, your sector and what, what your... Yeah. Hello. My name is Bordian Vera. I'm from the Center of Excellence in the IT industry. We are with more teachers at the second meeting. I would like to say that uh, in our Center of Excellence, we work on developing the digital uh, materials and each teacher Uh, they developed for each uh, uh, classes how many hours of theoretical and practical teaching they need and they place it on Google, Google Classroom. The institution has also the Moodle. Over there we also uh, may put the theoretical materials, we have them. And we hope that uh, we will learn something new to use uh, later on. The assessment, uh, we do it via Google Drive and Google Forms. We use different methods. And at the moment, we have on offline studies, so that in case there will be need, a need for all of online studies, we want to be ready. Thank you. Very, very good to hear how, how you are progressing with pedagogy and digital, say, digital transformation. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, we were... Uh, uh the next one who have haven't introduced is Kristina Savchuk. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, dear colleagues. So um uh, thank you for that for this complicated period uh, 
that this course is uh, we're very welcome. I'm from Center of Excellence in Economy and Finance. We are a part of the team that Ms. Botezato presented. We are more participants from the same institution. And I have just to say that a lot of work has been done within the institution. And we already uploaded digital contents. And we will see uh, during the meetings that will follow, we will see how correctly these materials were uploaded. We hope to have a very good training uh, later on today. Thank you and welcome. Uh, then, um, Elena, sorry, I'm not sure whether it's Pachalau or Pakalau, how do you say your <laughs> surname, but welcome. Good morning. Uh, my name is Elena Pakalau. I'm uh, from Center of Excellence in Light Industry. I was uh, the this meeting in September, but I'm uh, skeptical because in uh, practical training we can use uh, digi digital methods because we need to, to touch the materials, we cannot work otherwise. So for us it's a little bit more difficult. So to have it uh, qualitative as we want to have it. Thank you. And I'm checking the chat uh, as well. And thank you for well, your for additions there as well. And um, also, Eugenia, you uh, added your uh, college name there uh, in, in your name. Thank you. So uh, welcome. Could you also present yourself and uh, how is the work progressing from your point of view? And Eugenia, if you uh, are busy, okay, but if you don't have a microphone, please uh, use the chat also. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Yeah. Okay, and um, um, there will be some, some further uh, sort of group uh, assignments or teamwork and uh, then you have to uh, communicate with the others uh, via chat uh, uh, in your sector. And I'm trying to remember CEEF, is it energy? Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's energetics and electronics, yeah. So um, then we have- uh, Yes, Kuwait. Yeah. CEEF is not electronics okay. and energetics. Okay. It's the center of excellence in economy and finance. Okay. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> you lost the F. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, economy. Yeah, yeah. I will write those down. Yeah. Wonderful. So um, now uh, let's move on. And then we have Jan Grigoras. Please uh, introduce. Welcome. He's not replying, okay. Mr. Grigoras. Okay, yeah. Ionella also, uh, yes, Ionella, next one doesn't have a microphone, she wrote earlier. Yeah, uh, just the moment, yeah, Ionella, yeah. Uh, Ionella, could you please r write down Ah, there is uh, Central de Excelenta in Industria Ushuara. Okay, light industry. Thank you. Because I need 
to know this for our assignment. Light industry is Yonela. But Yonela didn't write that she was from the Center of Excellence in... Uh... Yes, he did. Uh, yes, she did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see it at least. 1.17 p.m. Yeah. 1.17 p.m. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. Okay. My bad, my bad. No worries. Uh, then, uh, welcome to Leo Alexandru. Who has actually also written on the chat? Bona Ziva. Bona Ziva, yeah. Bona Ziva, yeah. Bona Ziva, yeah. Center of Excellence in Energetics and Electronics. Center of Excellence in Energetics and Electronics. Leo Alexandru. I participated also last time. And I participated both at online and offline uh, trainings. That's, that's all. Yeah, good to have you here. So, um, uh, welcome to Lilia Gore. Uh, if you have a microphone, could you please uh, present yourself? Bună ziua, deci și eu reprezint instituția și aici fac o mică remarcă că am auzit că ați pronunțat Centrul de Excelență în... Yeah. I wanted to make a remark, who said... So it's actually Center of Excellence, not Electronic and Energetics, it's vice versa. It's Energetics and Electronics. I'm Head of Quality Assurance Department. We uh, open for new skills that we will uh, learn uh, this week. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. And now uh, I have to make a clarification that uh, uh, what was uh, uh, confused, uh, Dumitri, could you say, uh, how did So in the beginning, <laughs> we used to say Center of Excellence in Electronics and Energetics. But it's vice versa. It's center of excellence uh, and yeah. energetics and electronics. Yeah, not Thank a big you. deal, but well, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. But then it's important. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that young Grigor Rush also wrote something. Yeah, energetics and electronics. Thank you, Ion. Okay. Um, now we have um, on the participant list, uh, we have Mariana Barodean. Welcome. Have you got the microphone? Bună ziua la toți. Da, sunt Mariana Barladean, director adjunct educație în centrul de educație. I'm Mariana Barladean. I'm a deputy director on education from Center of Energetics and Electronics. I participated at previous uh, trainings and really looking forward to hearing new information. Thank you. No, thank you. Then we have um, uh, Nikolaev, Elena. Okay. <laughs> thank you. My name is Nikolaev, Elena. I'm from the Center of Excellence in Constructions. We are a group of colleagues together with Sergio Kocic and Gordon Victoria. Sergio already mentioned our, our good, our successes both internally and externally. I participated at these workshops from last year in February and September, October. We are really looking forward to learning more stuff and to use uh, practically what we learned. Thank you. Thank you and uh, congratulations to you as well. So, um, after uh, you're welcome. After Elena, we have uh, Revilia Journey. Welcome. Can you uh, have you got the microphone? Can you present? How, what are she you? actually wrote in the chat um, earlier? At wait, I'll tell you. At yeah, one there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Economy and finance, and perhaps n not microphone. Is it so? Bună ziua. Salut toți colegii. 
Hello, I greet all the colleagues. My name is Revilia Czorny, Center of Excellence in Economy and Finance. I'm Da uh, Saudi. Very good to uh, learn. I'm happy to be a member of this uh, group, which is working on these seminars. I participated in the seminars in February. Thank you so much for, for your work. And the result of our work was presented by Ms. Botizato. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, then uh, on the list, uh, there is Sarcho Aliona. Welcome. Uh, good morning. I'm also not the first time here. I participated at other trainings from the tasks that you gave for homework. Uh, we carried out a bigger part. The materials are already uploaded. We hope that we will learn some additional materials to an assessment of students and to learn at least a few instruments about uh, assessment. Uh, my bad, sorry, uh, I missed uh, which was your uh, sector. What, which center, please? Could you repeat? Uh, Can you repeat? Uh, she's from oh, Center of Excellence uh, economy. economy and Finance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, sorry. Um, okay, move on. Um, then we have Tafan Tatiana. Welcome. Probably not. Okay. Okay. It should be Victoria's Gardan now. Or we tell Veronica also to speak. Uh, then uh, yeah, Victoria uh, Jardan, please. Yeah. Good morning. My name is Victoria's Gardan. I'm from Center of Excellence in Constructions. I'm with you from the very first sessions from last year I both uh, I was also in the autumn session we are about the top homework we are still accumulating information and digitalizing the contents and we are ongoing work working online I, I mean all the time working have a good day and Special congratulations to you too. Uh, you do a really great job there. Okay, hey, um, for the first, very good I'm very happy that I'm part of this team. Yeah, uh, it, it's easy to think that, yeah. Hey, um, now I know that everybody has a microphone except Eugenia. Not there is also Virgil Bantas, last one. Oh, oh, Virgil, yeah, sorry, uh, my, my bad, uh, yeah. Last but not least, yeah, Virgil Bantas, please, yeah. Yeah, uh, bună ziua. Good morning. I'm also a part of uh, the team from the Center of Excellence uh, from Energetics and Electronics. I'm uh, this event these workshops in the field of uh, digitalization. We're using the skills both on the theoretical classes and we also want to use it in an assessment. 
I participated from uh, in the spring. As a deputy director of this institution, I want to tell you that our institution, so the teachers from our institution uh, started to, some of them started, some of them continued to use these two platforms. The general subjects uh, teachers are using mainly Google Classrooms and specialized teachers are using uh, uh, Moodle. And we are basically learning new things with students. So in this, uh, we are working with the students uh, online, having these uh, uh, these conditions, and the, these courses are very welcome. Thank you very much, Anna. Now I think that everybody who uh, is on the list have uh, presented, or at least who are uh, listening to to our joint conversation. Uh, then we have, uh, of course, we have uh, interpreters uh, Dumitru and Diana. Thank you so much for you, uh, your help. And uh, we have from the twinning project uh, uh, Veronica Midari here as well. Would you like to say something to all of us, Veronica? Yes, sure. I want to say, dear um, colleagues, we continue the series of uh, trainings which we believe are very important for you. And indeed, we consider that uh, we can contribute to this process uh, related to digitalization. Given the conditions created by COVID, it, uh, it is a necessity. We are still open to all your suggestions. At the end of the seminar, you will be given a form that you, are, you will be requested to fill in. And if you have any ideas, please share them. We are open to analyze them. So please share your opinions, suggestions, uh, or if there are topics, uh, stringent topics, we do insist on uh, thinking uh, about them and to share with us your opinions. Our experts are open to hearing your opinions and we will try to adjust uh, our training to your needs. I wish you a fruitful week. I know you are busy with many parallel uh, subjects, but uh, this is important what we're doing. So good luck to all of us. Thank you, Veronica. More to me. So, um, uh, Vesa Yona will uh, have his say very soon when we go through the uh, agenda. And um, I will share, share now the... Uh, PowerPoint or the slides. And um, you know that uh, all these are available uh, both as English versions and Romanian versions uh, online on the Google Classroom, uh, arranged day by day. And we have opened uh, the material uh, for today. We will later uh, during this afternoon uh, open also or publish the uh, homework that you will find there. And before tomorrow morning, um, you will see uh, the material for tomorrow. So um, we are here uh, uh, backed by the EU and the twinning project. And in this project, the idea is not only that you, who seem to be quite experts already in pedagogy and digitalization, not only that you develop new competencies, but you multiply and you share those competencies with all the uh, Moldovan uh, vocational education and training in your own sectors. So that is why uh, one essential thing we are gradually turning from uh, sort of um, 
sharing new skills and competencies with you, but uh, turning from this to have the emphasis on how you in turn uh, will uh, share material and competencies to your colleagues. So um, I will skip this one, but if you have some colleagues that uh, have, have had it difficult to enter Zoom, uh, here you will find the information on the second slide and um, you, you can provide this to them if they uh, feel that need. And now let's go to the actual ac agenda for today, tomorrow and for Thursday. Um, all the uh, trainings start at one o'clock and um, they end um, today and tomorrow at five o'clock. And on Thursday, we will uh, uh, call it a day, uh, half past four. Um, today, uh, there is first from, uh, I will present uh, some ideas about uh, about creating a uh, digital learning material and thinking about uh, how to uh, do uh, learning, uh, how to think about learning outcomes. And that is uh, for the uh, first part. And before three o'clock, we will have a break when you have time to uh, watch a certain video and um, perhaps make coffee or make a phone call, whatever is needed. And then uh, half of the whole uh, training days will be consisting of creating our joint website where we will be sharing the material and do this like they call it in the EU twinning project multiplication or how to share with our colleagues the uh, material and information. And uh, Vesa Yona will uh, soon uh, open up this but I will go through this overall scheme first. So on Wednesday, we will continue with the uh, uh, website creation. And in the uh, second session, we will have some sort of quick introduction on four uh, easy to use online tools for educators. And when you uh, see and hear those presentations, then you, you may uh, choose which you feel are the most important ones that we could give more time next uh, uh, during the next training. On Thursday, uh, uh, you will uh, continue with the website and then we will have uh, certain steps how you take, uh, uh, how you will find out what kind of pedagogical or digitalization needs there are on your sector, either uh, at your own school with your colleagues or uh, within the sector in other colleges. And then they wrap up. So this is the uh, overall scheme and uh, Vesa Yona, who is uh, the mastermind behind the website, could you uh, share some ideas? Uh, how do you see uh, what's going to happen this week? So, hi everyone. It's I'm so glad to be with you. Uh, we are under uh, strict uh, lockdown in UK, but thanks to this uh, digital way of working, I'm able to be with you today, tomorrow and on Thursday. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to be working with you. So basically on this week, we have a three main objectives to do. And first objective today is to make sure that you know how to use this WordPress platform. And in second session, I will guide you how to use it, uh, guide some uh, ideas how to uh, work under there and how to benefit and make best out of this system. And basically, I'm just making sure that you have all the skills 
and core competencies to work with WordPress. Uh, tomorrow, we have lots of practical working. So basically we are updating the website, making sure that all the information there will be updated. And in the afternoon, we will show some uh, tools to make your teaching and your website more interactive and more content under there. And on Thursday, we will continue with website, but we get more ideas how to use it for future. And in future, we have some kind of a collaborative way to work with the website. But that's the main plan that uh, what's the goal of this week is that we have a good start. And after that, we have some homework to do and we are ready to publish this website on the February meeting and training. So that's the goal at the moment. And uh, I hope we are able to work as much as possible during this week. It needs a lot of uh, effort from you, but I'm quite sure that you have all the capabilities to work with this and I'm looking forward to work with you. So thank you. I'm glad to be here. And now Esko, you can continue with your presentation. Thank you, Vesayana. So um, this was the introduction part. Is there uh, any questions or uh, can we continue to the actual sort of first content? I think that we can continue. Um, is it so that uh, I'm checking the chat that um, uh, if I understood right that uh, An Angela Chirtaka, uh, is that in English that you don't hear? Is it so? Uh, Dumitri, could you, uh, or Diana, whichever is trans, uh, trans interpreting now? I am now it? interpreting, but uh, I hear only you, so I'm translating to Romanian. And she's not answering. I, I translated your question, yeah. but no answer. Oh, okay, I will, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll just a moment. I'll write some. Maybe she doesn't have a microphone. Uh, she has uh, Angela Chirtaka. Yeah, she she has. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you familiar with with the uh, Dumitru there uh, who is taking a break? I think could you please uh, write in Romanian on the chat and ask ask her about the issue. And uh, I will continue. Uh, and Vesayona, if you can have an eye on the chat as well. So we will move on. Yeah, um, you who have participated know that we have been using these uh, digital competencies for educators that is uh, used uh, quite extensively by the Ministry in, uh, of Education, uh, Culture and Research in, in Moldova, Moldova as well. And we have been uh, referring to this and uh, where, we, where we are, what we are doing. And last time uh, we dealt with uh, number four assessment. And this week we are mostly there on the number two, meaning digital resources. And um, uh, it's um, um, divided in the subcategories of selecting, creating and modifying and managing, protecting and sharing uh, certain resources. So um, keep in mind that it's both that you create resources, but you may find other resources 
that are useful. For example, in Romania, they have quite a lot of digital resources. And also you can uh, mix and match and build upon some material that there is and create new, new entities. And this time, um, the approach in, in creating uh, digital uh, material is uh, that um, we base uh, creating digital material and thinking about learning outcomes. We base it on the Bloom's taxonomy and its uh, take on learning outcomes. Um, if you have done your pedagogical uh, um, uh, education in the university or similar, especially on the um, general education side, Bloom's taxonomy is, is uh, one very uh, essential tool. And um, uh, sorry, there is one slight change in the uh, arrangement of the slides. So uh, before going to the Bloom's taxonomy, um, uh, some words on planning digital learning material. You remember when we were in Chisinau, that uh, Chisinau and um, we were uh, going through this sort of tool that you have for planning digital learning material and it's still available on our blog. The address is there on the upper right hand side corner. And, and now as we are thinking about producing material in general, we also uh, uh, keep in mind the two circles from the left hand side. So first is that uh, how to think about the learning objectives and uh, how to think about the problem statement and uh, what are the benefits that we are, uh, why we are using digital tools. Surely during COVID time it's uh, quite uh, easy to see uh, that there are practical reasons but there should also be some reasons based on sort of the learning process and uh, how, what kind of value it adds to the process to have these digital tools. So once again, uh, this is one tool that you have there and uh, you can uh, use um, uh, for your own, own good and benefit. So now um, Bloom's taxonomy, there are several versions of it and I won't go uh, a lot De uh, I don't go very deep into the details and uh, I don't think that you should uh, use it uh, in a very rigid way. But in, in general, Bloom's taxonomy, it's a set of three uh, different hierarchical models that classify uh, educational learning objectives. And uh, Usually we talk only about this that you might uh, find quite familiar and this list or this pyramid is about uh, the cognitive uh, domain uh, and the other domains that uh, Bloom actually created are uh, affective and sensory domains. But usually we think only about this sort of uh, thinking skills and cognitive domain. And today uh, we take uh, only this to the agenda. And uh, yeah, this uh, cogn uh, cognitive domain list, uh, it's been primarily used uh, by general education and traditional education. But uh, for vocational education, where there is a lot of practical sort of uh, uh, practical uh, jobs to do, the other lists are useful as well. And this is uh, frequently used to structure um, uh, learning objectives, assignments and even activities. So, uh, and the revised version has uh, verbs, six verbs there. Uh, it used to be uh, 
nouns or substantives uh, in the first place, but this is sort of more active version. Remember, understand and apply, they are so-called sort of a lower order thinking skills and analyze, evaluate and create, uh, they are called higher order thinking skills. Higher perhaps meaning just that uh, you have to have or the student have to have a, a sort of the remember, understand, apply these phases uh, internalized and understood first before they can analyze, evaluate and create. So in this sense they are not sort of in higher esteem perhaps but uh, the lower order thinking skills are prerequisites for these higher order thinking skills. Okay, and uh, there are many different applications of this and uh, this is a framework that uh, you can use uh, in a way you, you just want or uh, find suitable in your context. And in digital learning, uh, there are plenty of different kind of applications. I remember when in Omnia, it was something like 10 years ago when it was the big boom and coming of iPads and uh, we started uh, using with our, our um, business and administration students quite a lot of digital learning. Uh, this is the first thing I created with them, with the students. We sorted out what kind of uh, mobile applications would uh, support their thinking and their learning in certain uh, no, uh, knowledge domains. And uh, this was back then our own version. Quite soon you might be familiar that there came this so, so to say pedagogy wheel, the pad is there the, in the word, it's not pedagogy, but pedagogy. And um, you see on, on the image, you see only part of the, the uh, wheel and uh, in the center, there are all the Bloom taxonomy uh, verbs, for example, evaluate and create, you can see there. And then it continues what kind of, uh, action verbs there are, what kind of activities there might be, and then what kind of uh, applications there are for mobile pads. Well, of course, uh, this, this is 4.1. I, I think at least five or six different uh, main versions of this wheel were created. But the issue is of course that you can use many applications uh, for different uh, purposes and there is not sort of a, a rigid and a objective way to put those applications there. But it's, it's very good when the student or the teacher thinks that, hey, what tool would I use for what purpose that uh, at least those are thought about in the first place. And you, you can see the link on the uh, upper left hand side corner if you want to learn more about the pedagogy wheel. Um, yeah, um, just a moment. Yeah. Okay, um, before going any, any further, uh, how to uh, actually uh, apply and how in, in Finland, what kind of sort of uh, Excel spreadsheets uh, teachers have created uh, you pawn this um, Bloom's taxonomy. Is there uh, anything you'd like to ask or uh, comment uh, before going further? Let's see, there is on chat. Uh, something. Okay, some, yeah, thank you for Dumitru uh, about the uh, hearing issue. And um, yeah, Vesa Yona has already uh, mentioned that um, if there are any questions. Okay, Christina thinks that uh, this is clear so far. Yeah, um, usually, usually when we show this and that theory or tool, uh, don't take it as granted and uh, as, as that you should uh, use it 
precisely in this way, but especially for the, uh, if you are in turn sharing your competence and uh, practices with the new, new teachers, uh, especially for new teachers or um, those uh, who come from, from some other sector than pedagogy, it's very good to have some kind of tool to uh, uh, help thinking and uh, um, making the practice. So, for example, in Finland, um, we have created uh, this kind of a uh, of tool, and I will. You will have the link there to the uh, uh, Romanian or English version, and I suggest that you open open it there. But I will also um, uh, open it uh, in a bigger uh, as a bigger version, so that I will zoom in on the Excel sheet so that you will see uh, when I'm presenting, but you may have it, you have it available there as well. Just a moment, I will uh, change uh, the share, screen sharing to the Excel version. And it's that one, I think, yeah. 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 Whew such a spreadsheet that, uh, that the teachers have done. And uh, thank you for Dumitru for translating this into Romanian as, as well. So I won't go this extensively through, but I will uh, uh, go uh, in a sort of a bit superficial way and show what this is about. And you can then, uh, uh, evaluate whether this will fit your purposes and of course you can always uh, download this material and uh, you can um, make your own version if needed. So I will zoom back in a bit. Let's put it 200% like this. Uh, I'm not aware what kind of uh, devices you have there, what kind of a screen size somebody was on mobile phone. I think this is very difficult to uh, see, but you who have your laptop or desktop computer, could you please comment on chat whether uh, this is legible? Is this big enough now? Okay, at least for Elena, this is big, big enough. Okay. It looks everybody is okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, so um, uh, this is uh, for teachers uh, who actually uh, create uh, completely online courses uh, with uh, learning material, with uh, uh, assignments, with assessment and peer assessment and the whole uh, 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 primary and secondary education courses on general education uh, are um, online. And um, that that is uh, actually uh, the Finnish version that uh, it it has been meant for the uh, general education. This version that I created uh, is a bit different, and uh, uh, here I think that I have taken into account some of the the um, things that uh, are needed for uh, for the. Uh, vocational education and training. I will um, enlarge the 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 cells a little bit now. Yeah. So uh, on column A, there is the cognitive domain uh, according to the Bloom's revised taxonomy. What kind of uh, things uh, we want to address? Then there is the activity. Um, 
that are uh, is related to the certain certain um, cognitive domain and then notes on practical uh, course application about that. The next uh, is that uh, what is the working method and um, how the individual work uh, will uh, support the cognitive domain or the uh, uh, their thinking skills, how uh, they will do as a team or in pairs and will it be uh, in the working life, in practical uh, uh, ses settings or at school. And this is especially for the vocational education and training. Then there are things uh, to write about uh, or think about, about the learning platform or environment, where and how the learning takes place. Is it on the digital platform? Is it the joint joint course platform or some other external digital environment, whether it's just pen and paper or some practical work, or is it, uh, again, uh, is the environment, is it an authentic on the job or training place location, or is it other off-screen activity? And how it is, it will be evaluated, so is it uh, if it's digital, uh, many assignments may be uh, assigned, assessed um, automatically, and um, or is there any self or peer assessment involved, and what uh, requires assessment by the teacher or the workplace tutor, and some further uh, 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 notes uh, to take there. So this is the, uh, the uh, division of the columns, as you can see, like this. And uh, now when we go a bit further uh, down and start, for example, there uh, from the remembering. So um, I will zoom there. Mm. This. Okay, I've written down there that the activity or assess assignment type for remembering might be sort of first those verbs from the uh, Bloom's list. They are like list, describe, translate or drill something. And uh, in italics, there are some ideas what could be done uh, with digital tools. In this kind, uh, this case, there are many uh, free online services and applications for flashcards for remembering. Quizlet is one one uh, good uh, tool for this, or for example, crossword puzzle or such. So, um, when we are talking about di uh, digital or hybrid education, meaning both digital and on site. So uh, here it's very good that you think on the B column uh, what kind of uh, uh, verbs uh, are uh, attached to this uh, cognitive domain and then think about what kind of tools could be useful for this. In a similar manner, the blue ones that are about understanding, uh, there are some just quick ideas that, for example, how has a uh, for example, uh, how has a certain physics principle been applied in inventions in B23? That might be something, for example, a physics course. And uh, how to do it in practice? It might be uh, creating a cartoon or news report even, or as it is in the next cell, online discussion or blog or report or this kind of uh, tools. So uh, I won't go through all this now, but yeah, Janela, you are you asking some question about this, or was it just a, a mistake, perhaps? Yeah, 
so um, there are ideas for you what kind of things you might consider or even um, if you have very sort of a uh, um, self um, um, steering uh, students that could work uh, on their own you might even give suggestions to them to create their own learning path and how they uh, design their own learning but there are many many different kind of tools uh, for you and um, feel free to use this as you'd like to any any questions or ideas about this tool that I presented in a very uh, general manner would you like to comment something Nothing on the chat, nobody opens the microphone. Um, one idea. Hey, Luke. So uh, it says uh, that it would be welcome if we would be able to download it. The Excel document, but we will give it to them, right? Yes, uh, when you go to the uh, Google Classroom and you uh, take the class work and uh, you go to the uh, to the section that has material for today ah oh, actually hey yeah yeah it is there yeah actually yeah when you go to the um, I will share that with you just a moment um, stop sharing this and start sharing my browser so you can see it yeah when you enter the course and uh, i think you have the google classroom there uh, visible you take classwork uh, on the upper menu there and now uh, under this day there is this section intro bloom and there are these tools both in in romanian and in english and if you open the blooms for digi vet romanian you will get this version as a google spreadsheet and when it's open as a google spreadsheet uh, you can uh, you see my um, mouse or cursor moving to the file menu here I will click on that and now if you use Google environment you just make a copy you will get a personal copy of it or if you use Microsoft and Microsoft Excel you may download it as a Microsoft Excel document and that way you can uh, edit it to your uh, own needs and if there is something that uh, you don't have the privileges to uh, download or copy let me know and I can uh, edit and uh, correct if there is something uh, some setting is not correct but very good question uh, yeah and Vesa Yona also uh, shared the link on the chat there as well. Yeah, and Jon Grigoras also um, replied that it's on Classroom. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I hope this is uh, clear now. And I will open the 
slide set there are there is one assignment and then there will be a video to be watched uh, later okay yeah so you have this this version available and um, let's move to the next and now we are there uh, seeing a slide that says create your own learning outcomes in the bloom's taxonomy uh, all the cognitive six cognitive domains and those verbs uh, they have some uh, sort of subdivision and uh, subsets of verbs and there are plenty of different kinds different people have made different sets of and lists of verbs that might be suitable there there are also some some educators that have created lists for verbs that apply quite well to digital learning and digital uh, education and um, I copied one of such lists and uh, did some further uh, editing to that list and here you can see and it's also in the very same spreadsheet that I just showed you there are two uh, tables and uh, you can access from the same same uh, Excel or Google spreadsheet and uh, uh, on the uh, down there 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 are uh, two sheets and uh, this is the second sheet uh, verbs for digital learning and this is sort of a tailored list by me and I think that this might be useful for digital learning and now that is why I asked that uh, from which sector you are from is that I was thinking that it might be useful to do it in breakout rooms so that in each room there would be your own colleagues from your own uh, center or your own area to do this next assignment so it says create your own learning outcomes and think about a course or lesson that could be transformed from traditional classroom activity into a digital or online learning activity now something that you currently do uh, uh, offline and what you could do online and now we come come to the idea how and why bloom's taxonomy is used for learning objectives because these verbs are utilized so you think about a practical course or lesson and number two you choose which cognitive domains you address so there are the, those six columns six cognitive domains uh, you can see and um, you choose either one or uh, several of those domains uh, which you think that okay this course especially addresses you can even think about all six but uh, to make it easier choose just one two three most important for that specific course or lesson and um, then you select from the list some verbs and you formulate full sentences and full sentence learning outcomes about what the student will be able to do after the intervention in other words uh, when you think about that course or lesson you think what kind of uh, cognitive uh, um, thinking skills that course or lesson uh, supports you select some verbs and think about learning outcomes it means that uh, after this course or lesson you will be able to do something so this kind of sentences and you select 
uh, what kind of uh, verbs there are, you discuss, you you decide together the course and lesson and which kind of verbs you use and uh, how you formulate full sentence learning outcomes together when I, I will soon open the uh, breakout rooms for smaller uh, team discussion according to the each center of excellence. And we, we will have there something like uh, 10 minutes and uh, after this short practice uh, we will uh, have a small round discussing what did you find out. Okay, um, you can open also, uh, here are the similar links to the, uh, the spreadsheet and there the second table is uh, about these verbs and you can keep it open. When, we, uh, when I uh, um, make the breakout rooms and you will be uh, in those smaller uh, rooms. Okay, uh, questions? Să să apară pe parcurs după ce procedem, hai să spunem așa, ne mijlocit la sarcină. Oh, no, I didn't understand. Yeah. Uh, thank you for uh, for saying. Zic, cred că o să apară întrebări, deci când o să elaborăm însă și sarcina, cred că atunci o să apar mai multe întrebări. Probably there will be questions after when, when they will be doing the homework, the the task. At the yeah. moment, no, nothing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's usually when when it's a complex uh, assignment uh, that uh, it's difficult to ask right away. But when we start, uh, we will uh, Vesayona and me and. Uh, Dumitru and Diana, we will uh, visit the uh, breakout rooms and see if you have some questions there. And um, I will stop uh, stop sharing. If you need, uh, so open the spreadsheet or take a screenshot in order to see the verbs while uh, doing the workout, because soon you won't be seeing those on screen anymore. So I will close this now, stop sharing. And uh, so I will um, start uh, uh, dividing you into certain breakout rooms that uh, have the names of your uh, actual uh, center of excellence. There is only one, actually there are now several who have just come uh, as participants and I don't know to which sector you belong to. So please, uh, uh, Tomsa, Lilia and uh, yeah, Tomsa, Lilia, uh, could you tell me to which sector you belong to, please? She, hello. Center of Excellence in Light Industry. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, now there are six uh, breakout rooms. Alexei Matevici and then Construction, Economics, Energetics, in, uh, Light Industry and Informatics. And I will uh, assign each of you to that room and uh, in that room you will uh, be able to discuss with this small group of your colleagues. Let's say we have 10 minutes, it's now uh, 20 past two and we will have um, 10 minutes from now on to work and uh, very soon 
I will share. Actually, uh, yeah, Kasu Diana, it seems that you are alone in the in the group for Alexei Matevici. But anyways, I will. Uh, yeah. 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 As last time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But okay. Uh, there won't be any arguments against you then in that room. <laughs> okay. And then. Uh, then we have construction and it's Sergio is there and um, Elena is there and uh, Victoria is there. Okay. And economy and finance. It's Angela put it to oh Angela has uh is not uh, available anymore. Christina Savchuk. Angela Botizato is now Oh, I guess already Bordian Vera, not sure though. You see Bordian Vera? I guess yeah. she is now Angela Botizato. But uh, no, Bordian Vera sure. by the industry. Okay, sorry. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, where I was, I was in uh, ec uh, out. economy, Angela. it's Eugenia. It, yeah. And then. Uh, Revilia, Tierney, and uh, Sarge Aliona. Okay. Energetics. Um, Ion. Lehu. Alexandru. Lilia Gore. And uh, Virgil Bantas. Okay. Lilia Gore just wrote that at half past two she's going to the classroom. Okay. And she'll yeah. come later on. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, light industry, we have Bordian Vera. We have Angela Chirtoaka. Elena Pakalau. Janela and uh, Lilia Tomsa, like that. And then we have informatics. Ah, oh, is there anyone from informatics? Uh, at least Mariana, uh, sorry, I forgot you from the list of energetics. I will add you there. Just a moment. So Mariana is uh, in the energetics now, and is there still somebody who hasn't been assigned? Uh, informatics, is there anyone from informatics? Andrian Golub. Um, Andrian Golub, no, yes. no she, he's not here. I would say you just send them to the groups and then you'll see who is left and uh, point, uh, point them later. Every, everybody else has been assigned to a group, but uh, Andrian Golub is not. Andrian, are you here? Do you hear us? Da, bună ziua, sunt pe loc, sunt prezent. Yes, he's here, Adrian is here. Yeah. And colleagues will join at classes, and my colleagues will join later in a while. Okay, and um, 
excuse me, I just can't recall now uh, from which center you are. I'm confused with all, all this. Center of Excellence in Computer Science. It is in uh, oh. informatics. Ah, yeah, yeah, Andrian, okay. Andrian, yes. Yeah, yeah, Kolub, uh, be because it's the first there, I was thinking about uh, first name, but uh, yeah, sorry, my bad. Okay, um, I will uh, assign you to the uh, room there. I'm not sure if you were here to hear the instructions. Unfortunately, just a few minutes ago I got connected, so better to to uh, give him now the instructions. Or maybe, yeah. in my opinion, that's my personal, maybe you put him in another group because it's only him. Uh, uh, could we go there, uh, Dumitru, to the uh, Informatica uh, yes. room? And yes. uh, Vesayona and Diana, if you could start with Alexei Matevici and check that, uh, did, uh, did she, uh, Diana get, uh, get the idea? But Dumitru, let's go to the uh, informatics. Let's go. But I see people, they are still in, they're not in groups. Um, Did you send them to groups? Uh, I assigned, I think, everyone, I see, uh, just a moment, yeah. I see everybody is still in the main group. Or maybe as a user, I'm not seeing how they are living. Yeah, hey, uh, that was my bad. Uh, I didn't open, uh, I didn't press the open rooms. Ah, uh, but see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. So it's 10 sorry, minutes sorry from now. Everybody. Yeah. I don't hear you anymore. Yeah. I will uh, write them a message in just a moment. No, but the ESCO, you put 10 minutes in the breakout rooms and they, they will automatically close. When 10 minutes I expired, shouldn't write any messages, in my opinion, I mean. Perhaps, yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, now, uh, Dumitru, uh, are you ready? Let's uh, yes, sure. move to, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, hello, Andrian, can you hear? It's Esco here. Is Dumitru here as well? Um, waiting for Dumitru to translate or interpret. Please put on your mic. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Dumitru, I, I couldn't find you in the and breakout to room. choose English channel. <laughs> yeah, uh, it uh, got off when I came back. I'm like a vampire, I'm not coming uninvited. Uh, okay, you couldn't, uh, yeah, okay. I didn't see any invitation. Okay. I, thought I was that... having a nice discussion with Vesco. Yeah, I, I thought that with, uh, with the translator role, uh, you could 
go there but now i don't no, see I'm a way not. i don't see a way uh to invite you there perhaps if i go first there and from that room i i will invite you Let's no see. you will not be able can you share your screen I'll yeah. tell you. have you ever done it before or not yeah 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 uh we have done it a yeah. few times when i was yeah. uh, the host for other meetings yeah uh no i don't need to see your google translate yeah open, yeah. open your zoom yeah well it doesn't open uh the uh, zoom main window when i'm uh, sharing the screen yeah, zoom yeah. is not showing yeah. the zoom window in yeah zoom. Ah, then it doesn't yeah, make it, sense it, then it, can close it, it shows all, only this yeah yeah um but if you are co-host, uh, Visayone, you cannot open breakout rooms? No, I can't. Can you appoint me as a host, Esco? Yeah. But you'll lose your role. If yeah, you but are... uh, then no, it, no, no worries. Uh, then it's... Uh... I, I'll, I'll, I promise I'll return it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Make host, yeah. <laughs> and what uh, room is the address? Oh, now I see. So... Uh... Uh, Visayon and Diana going to Alexei Matievich, right? Mm. Yeah. Matievich. Bye bye, Visayona. You should accept it. Diana, bye bye. Uh, we go to Informatica. Yes. Yeah. Yes, go. Bye bye. Ah, salut, Adrian. Hello. Bona, bona, salut. Uh, so, say, Esco. Yeah, I will share the uh, the screen. Just a moment. That Adrian, you talk English or Latvian, so no. Uh, very well. I mean, there. That's good. Good. French. Lasa, lasa, good. I'm going to use Sharavesco Latvian when I speak French. No, I was just joking with Adrian that I was asking him if he speaks English. Yes. Or Finnish. No, or Finnish. <laughs> no, only French. <laughs> hey. Um, yeah. Before you entered, Adrian, it's for the first, it's very good to have you here. But before you entered, uh, we went through different kind of sort of tools and in this time Bloom's taxonomy. Adriana, înainte de a intra tu, noi am vorbit despre diferite instrumente, inclusiv despre taxonomia Bloom. Nu știu dacă ai auzit. Da, da, da. He knows about it, Esco. Noi să utilizăm. They are using it. Yes, and in this case, for the first, you have this Google spreadsheet or Excel uh, file it's that you can Excel, use. Uh, yes, document Excel. Ah, sorry, I forgot that it's not simultaneous. Yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can use this uh, uh, and modify this uh, spreadsheet. This is very practical tool for uh, designing uh, lessons or courses. In Google Classroom, I guess, there is for today, there is document that is called Stay in the function se numește Blooms for DigiVet Raw. Acolo este o tabel yeah. care e foarte folositor în uh, crearea clasicilor. So have have a look at the, uh, it uh, later if you find it useful or not. Uh, mai trebuie să uiți dacă ți-e folositor. Acum mergem la uh, sarcina de acum. And the idea was that uh, you uh, think about some course or lesson that could be transformed from traditional classroom activity into digital or online learning. Deci, uite la punctul 1 de pe slide, gândește la un curs sau o lecție care ar putea fi transformată din activitate tradițională în clasă în învățare digitală, în online. And on, on, the, uh, on the table, on the list, uh, you see six uh, different columns or cognitive domains with verbs. 
În domeni, în tabelul din dreapta, vezi șase domenii cognitive. And now think some course or lesson and uh, formulate the uh, learning outcomes uh, so that it has some, uh, it is a complete sentence having some of those verbs. Deci gândește la un curs sau o lecție, formulează rezultatele învățării, învățării folosind unule, unele din verbele astea care sunt în tabel. Okay. Am înțeles, da, bine. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Ok, and uh, we have only a few minutes uh, available now, so make it sort of very short uh, sort of uh, drill or practice. Avem doar câteva minute rămase, de obicei 10, dar cred că aveți voi mai puțini. Faci, încercați să faceți cât mai succint. So I hope that you, you will have at least one uh, sort of complete sentence that you can share which course or lesson and what is the uh, learning outcome. Deci un curs sau uh, o propoziție sau doar fi destul cu ne spui ce curs sau lecție putea o transforma din activitate tradițională în învățare digitală online și care e rezultatul al învățării. So, two minutes and we will now leave you to think about this. Uh, deci te lăsăm uh, să te gândești, ok? Any, any questions? Ai întrebări? Uh, nu, întrebări nu sunt, dar adică eu pot să... Nu știu dacă am nevoie de timp, fiindcă eu mă atestez la momentul dat și am dus o oră publică și practic adică la formularea obiectivilor, în mare parte, noi își folosim adică verbele din taxonomia. Aha. So, uh, Adrian just had a course uh, uh, and uh, when uh, formulating the objectives, he is using these verbs from Bloom's taxonomy. So, basically, he doesn't need preparation time. Yeah. As, as, as he can see, these are not the usual verbs. Uh, this is designed uh, thinking about digital learning. Dar dacă tu mai atent, ați spus verbele obișnuit, ele sunt create special pentru învățământul digital. Vezi, 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 uite-te oricum. Uh, ok. Uh, câte minute la dispoziție atunci? How much time he has? Two minutes. Trei, două, trei. Ok, mulțumesc. Do. <laughs> Thank you. Ok, see, see you there, okay. uh, yeah. Esco. Yeah. Oh, um, sorry. Mm. Take screenshot uh, of the the verbs. Esco, yep. why are you not coming to the main room? I am coming now uh, because uh, I have to uh, stop sharing my screen. I, I okay. uh, wrote okay. the See link. you there then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you there. Yeah. Uh, host rights. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I have now the English channel, so uh, I couldn't hear I, you if you... I give you back the host, right? Yeah, I, I saw, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I think we have to close so, rooms in the minutes. Now you're the host.
How are your dogs, Esco? Ah, oh, lovely. You should. Uh, just before this, uh, we were uh, out having a walk, but uh, it's drizzling, it's wind, it's cold. It, well, the weather is is not nice. Uh, the dogs are visiting me every now and then, saying, "Ah, oh, still sitting here. Why?" <laughs> ah, shit. I mean, I don't know how you're living with two dogs. <laughs> yeah, they are my wife's dogs. I just assist uh, every once in a while. Okay, now I will close all the rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, dogs is good that you have. Uh, you can see the emotions, but shit, they need you. They are not mm. independent. That is true. Uh, with the... Uh... Hello. Waiting everybody to uh, enter the main main meeting room for a moment. I don't understand. Hold on a little. I don't understand. Uh, is there Dumitru or Diana uh, on the uh, trans uh, interpreting to yes, Romania? Yes, I am interpreting. Yeah, very good. Yeah. You have to remember saying the channel, interpreter channel again. So. Mm, good point. Yeah. 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 I put it in English, uh, in Romanian to the chat. So. Okay, thank you. I was just about to do the same, yeah. Okay, uh, have you uh, found the Romanian channel? Okay. You. Hey, quick round now. Uh, we have this uh, sort of exercise on thinking about certain course or lesson and creating one or several learning outcomes based on the Bloom taxonomy verbs. So now I would like to uh, hear from all of the six uh, different uh, centers. Uh, what was your, uh, if you got some uh, sort of complete sentence, what it is like, or what did you think there? Uh, so if we would uh, go in order, uh, starting with Alexei Matevici, so it's Kato Diana. Uh, how did you find this? Uh, did you think some practical course or lesson, and did you uh, create a learning outcome from for that just remember to put the microphone on sorry deci este destul de binevenită sarcina da yes this task is uh, quite uh, welcome and we also need to identify the digital tool that we can use at this stage. So if I am to speak, I'm sorry, I speak very fast. Sorry to the interpreters. So if I might to analyze the classification of objectives or the areas of uh, learning I chose the course that I teach in general pedagogy and respectively I've formulated the following let's say objectives operational objectives that can be that are measurable can be identified whether the objective was achieved or not the first objective is to define the notion of a didactic method by for example using Google Classroom Mm, for now with a section question where the student can address a short question or a question from a paragraph using a Google form, for example. 
The second objective that uh, pert is pertaining to the um, understanding uh, domain is to classify the methods, participating methods, depending on depending on the activity that we are carrying out uh, teaching or assessment using a digital method as for example the elaboration of um, brain maps or mental maps and uh, the last two that uh, are related to the integrate integrating in the integrating part to or projection projection part to project a part of this uh, participating method by elaborating a project and attaching it uh, as a product into the Google Classroom. And the last one, which is actional and functional, an actional and functional activity, which can be carried out only practically, is to realize or to carry out uh, this project or this participating method with the beneficiaries or with the, with the children, with students. So the products we could say would be the, um, the product that they attach, the, the video, if there is the the possibility to do it or if we are entitled to do it but theoretically this would be the, the outcome thank you very very impressive no wonder that you you teach uh, pedagogy and didactics very detailed very measurable learning outcomes thank you well okay uh, then um then let's uh, continue. Um, the uh, next breakout room was uh, construction. Uh, what did you discuss and did you uh, find out some uh, practical uh, learning outcomes? Who would uh, present from you three? Sergio, Elena or Victoria, please. Hello, I think I will uh, present it. We've understood uh, in the following way the task. Just a second, let me find it. I hope you can hear me clearly. So, we have chosen a course of uh, personal development because we are all uh, um, leading teachers for classes. We have chosen the right of the um, employees. From the cognitive domain, we've chosen the application. The applying activity. In terms of apply, discover, we would uh, suggest uh, the examination of the employment agreement, employment contract as a finality. What they can do. from the area apply calculate uh, we would say choose um, advantages uh, employment uh, conditions and from the cognitive area we would uh, prepare a cv uh, depending on the criteria of the employer so we would uh, by these uh, three sentences uh, we would uh, see the finality of this uh, this task this topic Okay. So here, if you can see, we've uh, filled in this file. Yeah. 
So this means that uh, this uh, spreadsheet might be useful for you in practice? Um, just a second, the translation, I can't hear the translation, but as I understand, these tasks will be applied in practice. Is that right? Yep. So obviously, if we make a uh, an, an analysis of the um, employment contract so we can make a simulation of examining the employment contract, choosing uh, employment conditions, make a role play, make a simulation of uh, elaborating the CV depending on the criteria of the um, of the employment, depending on the area of activity because we represent different uh, specialties. So this is uh, applicable and this is a, a finality, as we can see. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, um, there's some comment uh, on the chat, just a moment. Yeah, the comment says uh, we in uh, employment and um, interview, employment interview can uh, can be simulated mm. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course, an employment interview can be simulated. Mm. There are more uh, areas. We have debated just uh, a few aspects as it was uh, requested three. We've limited our, ourselves. But of course, there can be many, many other elements that can be identified. Yeah, Multumim, thank you. Okay, um, now uh, the next uh, breakout room was uh, economics and finance. So which of you, there were four of you who might be the one to tell about your practice and or your discussion? If I may, uh, my name is uh, Kristina Savchuk and I will uh, present uh, the results of our discussion. We, in this context, we are somewhat more favored. Uh, we, are the, we are the economic area because the final product in the end is a um, it a uh, accounting document or a financial plan plan so far as the final product is a uh, some document and uh, we can uh, surely use uh, the digital uh, learning which we are doing and we can proceed with the results of uh, our activity so it's a uh, unit course we've selected uh, fiscal accounting which is related to taxation of the fiscal sector in terms of direction we've ch uh, chosen the way of uh, the ways of uh, filling in the VAT declaration and uh, the formulation of sentences uh, themselves the first sentences we've formulated as follow to elaborate the record of uh, procurement and uh, deliveries based on uh, fiscal uh, forms. Here, students are given a list of uh, fiscal forms and a list of uh, fiscal forms, uh, fiscal forms of procurement and delivery. So we are making a term, uh, an application for them and the students and students uh, online, but they can fill these documents and can view them and can work with them. The second aspect is that based on the record of uh, procurement and delivery is the task to calculate the VAT for a respective month. It is um, related to the assessment uh, area, assessment domain based on the fiscal forms. They can determine what is the VAT due to be paid. And the third element from the uh, sector of creating is to elaborate, to generate the VAT declaration and to analyze its results. 
so this was uh, was it of course it's a brief uh, description but um, it is a brief idea for you to understand uh, the economic aspect thank you thank you once again a very practically tied this uh, thinking to your actual uh, teaching uh, every day. Any comments on this or uh, will we move further? If not, then it's energetics and they were, uh, uh, wow, five of you. So uh, someone uh, from your team, could you please uh, share your thoughts? Waiting to do minute. Well, we, we would request two more minutes. Can you ask uh, another team to present, yeah. and then we will continue? Okay, then uh, let's uh, go to light industry, please. And uh, there were four of you. Is it uh, which oh, would? Yes. Hello once again. We at the Center of Excellence of Flight Industry. We have taken into account the specific features of our specialty. So, which is, uh, let's say, the producing of uh, clothing. We suggested the chapter of creation to students to elaborate uh, catches of uh, clothes, be it a skirt, a dress, or trousers. Also, with the creating department, we are asking to describe these uh, products. They are making different uh, pictures. They post them on Google Classroom, and uh, we can grade them. In terms of uh, the chapter of uh, application, we have a result, the outcome, teaching outcome which is that uh, our students have to carry out uh, cal calculations. They have to be organized in a table. After what uh, pupils, students have to, to carry out to perform the calculations and then they project uh, a, a piece of clothing, be it the front or back side of the product uh, that is designed. As our colleague uh, said from the Center of Excellence, it is somewhat more difficult when the task is uh, practical because they have to sue, they have to do something practically. And the final product, it is not sufficient to just to film, to make a video of the final product. The evaluator, the teacher have to see this product physically. So from the theoretical point of view, we're all ongoing with this, um, with this uh, method and we are using the Google Classroom, as I mentioned. Speaking of the training, we're making pictures and videos which, are, which we are attaching to a portfolio. And when a student comes to the institution, uh, we are grading this uh, product within practical uh, classes. Yeah, thank you. Very, very good uh, sort of uh, thinking or discussion uh, how this is a very diff different thing uh, in the practical uh, vocational education and training, different from the general education and what kind of things have to be considered. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, we have, uh, uh, let's leave energetics to the last and we have Andrian from the Info, uh, JT from the Informatica. Uh, so how did you think about this, Andrian? Yes, hello. 
discussed previously also about the using uh, about using the Bloom's taxonomy, and I've mentioned that I'm now uh, during the attestation process, and usually uh, when uh, carrying out or elaborating uh, this project for classes and. Uh, when uh, when uh, identifying this uh, outcomes of classes we are using uh, the bloom's taxonomy what can i say is that um, the, the class that we've uh, car carried out uh, we've uh, used um, these pictures as a way of uh, development we've used the graphics uh, graphics uh, specifically adobe photoshop the topic that we've uh, tried to to implement during the class was uh, a very active topic and uh, let's say a very flexible one. The graphics and the specifically the creation of animations in uh, Photoshop. In terms of uh, creation of, of uh, operational objectives, knowing, we've tried to identify so when uh, knowing or learning objective is to identify the notion of uh, animation, and now we've used also the Mentis tool in order to deduce a uh, notion, a t definition of this uh, term. And another tool that we've uh, used was uh, to match the types of animation. And uh, there was a uh, task where there were specified or listed some images specific to the type of animations and respectively the students had to match the name of animation to the to match the name with the respective uh, image as an operational objective of application we've uh, tried to implement different types of animations graphic objectives given the given the specific features of uh, this area given that uh, we have um, practical we need here practical skills uh, not so much uh, so much theory so here we have considered that in terms of application we considered that uh, we need to use uh, graphical tools in terms of uh, integration of course that based on the gained uh, knowledge there was the task to create different uh, types of uh, animations, which was a uh, also a homework uh, task, uh, respectively for students. This was uh, as a that was it about my um, about my course. And if you've uh, respectively managed to translate, if if there is the need, uh, I can uh, repeat. Yeah, th thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, quite a, a detailed, detailed uh, um, description of, of the course and the application as such. And uh, I think, uh, well, it's sufficient because we uh, uh, have to move on. We still have uh, one more center. We have the energetics and uh, uh, could you, uh, put it um, in a short, concise package. Uh, what what did you think about these learning outcomes? Who of you would present your view? So Mr. Alexander Oleahu will, uh, will speak on behalf of the center. Um, is he still online? That's a much. It, it seems yeah. that he has you, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, uh, yes. Domnul Leah, connect the microphone. Mr. Lahu, please connect your microphone to our non microphones. 
Yes, hello. Yeah. We've understood the task as a practical assignment uh, realized within the college and how it can be used uh, online, remotely. So we are speaking about the area, the networks, computer networks, and the task is to research the computer networks at a um, at an enterprise. The task was to explore the local network and based on the, we've used the proposed Excel file. So the task was to deduce the local uh, network, the scheme of the local network and to describe it. And as a, uh, this was the the task that was to be presented. So during the online classes, this is the same task, only that the students are doing it uh, from, uh, from home. The same tasks are they have to discover and uh, explore the local network and the result. should be the same categories. That's how we, we've uh, realized uh, this task. Okay, thank you. No sort of uh, one sentence learning outcome there, but uh, at least uh, you have uh, clearly thought out uh, what kind of a sort of a content and course there, there might be and uh, to be elaborated further. So thank you all. Um, I won't go now um, further into the, these and no more comments because uh, it's uh, a bit the it's over three o'clock already. Let's go back to the slide set and the very very last thing there. I think uh, this is now on your screens. We discussed this uh, learning outcome theme and uh, Google, Bloom's taxonomy uh, with uh, our colleague, Ms. Ona Haapakorpi, who is a senior lecturer on food production. And uh, otherwise she would have joined us now, but she have other duties, so she couldn't. But uh, on Friday, we made a small video about this for you. Um, you can see the link there on the upper left-hand corner and uh, this is done in English but uh, as you can see from this when you access that YouTube file uh, you can take the settings uh, uh, number one there uh, sorry it was here number one uh, uh, there are the settings below and when you open that small menu then step number two is to uh, put uh, subtitles on, turn them on, uh, selecting English and when you have selected that they are on then you can uh, click it again and see the auto translate menu and there is the uh, uh, Romanian listed as well. It's a machine translation, not perfect, but better than uh, only English, so uh, give it a go. We will have now a break of half an hour, uh, sorry, 20 minutes, and this video takes something like 10 or 11 minutes, so you have time to watch this video and uh, make coffee or tea or uh, take a phone call or whatever and uh, please on your own time now watch the video that you see the link there above I will uh, put it uh, on the um, the the um, what is this chat as well so in order that if you can't copy it otherwise you will have it just a moment. 
and we will continue half past three. So the link is here you go. So watch that, uh, have a small break and let's continue half past. Thank you. Esco, are you here?
Okay. Are our interpreters ready? Yes. Wonderful, as always. Okay. Almost. Yeah. How about you attendees, participants? Uh, have you come back already? Could you uh, say something on the chat? If we can continue, please. Yeah, some people are ready. Three. <laughs> okay. Um, others join when they when they can. Um, uh, now, um, this video uh, um, links to your uh, home assignment that. Uh, you will be presented a bit later. And uh, we don't discuss this video uh, in detail now. The only thing that I want to know that uh, uh, were you able to access the video and did the translation, uh, was it good enough that you understood uh, Ona's uh, discussion? If you have some some questions or uh, details to ask or share, uh, please just open your mic or use the chat. Okay, uh, so uh, Christina Savchuk told uh, that uh, somebody is saying that in Romanian it wasn't, but in Russian it was good. Yeah, uh, Christina was uh, writing, uh, wrote that on the chat as well. So yeah, uh, I'm writing, I'm reading what was in chat. <laughs> Me too. So uh, thank you. So everyone, if you sort of didn't get the meaning out of it, uh, try it um, later in the evening uh, with the Russian automatic translation, as Kristina Savchuk uh, wrote that I, it is better that way. So you will need that video later on. Now um, it's Vesa Jonas' turn, turn and uh, he will go uh, further uh, and into the website, please. Yeah. So thank you. So we are continuing with me. So not much introduction because we are running behind, but uh, let's start with the subject. So the subject at the moment is uh, going to be introduction to WordPress. So how we use it, and how we make the most, the best use of the website. That's the idea today. And this is part of um, my work during all these missions I've been with you. So basically I've been building this website with students, with you, with different colleagues uh, all the time. Some delays, postpones due to COVID-19 has happened but uh, it doesn't mean that it won't be published in February. Before it was planned to publish now, but it's basically it's not possible due to the technical circumstances. But yes, so I recall some things for you. So there are a couple of changes. So now, as some of, some of you remember that the website was uh, digitalmatter.sady.md. It's not anymore. We have updated the uh, address to be uh, the close 
to uh, first plan, and it will be the IPD digital dot dot md. So if you are using the old link, it won't go anywhere. So you need to use this new link, which is findable and accessible from slides from the classroom, or you can use the direct link you tear using this one. So basically the website is running, it's working and it's fine, but the address is different. So I recall why we are developing the website. Uh, this website, according to the new guidance from the Moldovan ministry and uh, our project will be the new platform to improve digital skills in Moldova. That's the main objective of this uh, whole process. And uh, this will be something additions has been done and this will be the new way for all you participating institutes to fulfill your role to be multipliers of uh, digital competencies. That's the one big thing why we are making this website. Also, the aim is to increase a collaboration between all of you at the moment, U6 here. The, let's see, pointer here. You all six institutions are taking part of this project. So this will be the goal to increase your collaboration. And if we see, and we see at the first that there is an urgent need for a platform to share good practices in Moldova. And that is slowly progressing and improving on this website. Also, I would point out that this will be a platform to learn together. So in future, now you will have a tool to improve skills together. Now you won't be alone on your own institution doing only your own sectoral work, but you are able to work together. You are able to see what's happening on other institutes. And uh, you are learning to share. And that's the next step on your progress and next step on our training. And that means actually that uh, when we are thinking in pedagogical way, that learning to share is the next step from learning to use. Now you have learned to use many, many programs, many uh, donors, many projects has worked in Moldova and you have learned many good things and it's visible even now that you are more used to work in digital platforms in online environment and you have good skills to continue and now we, I'm talking about you who are participating in this training and uh, in future this could be used as a database for digital learning. These four last things here I will be talking to you, I will be lecturing to you, I will be having uh, some kind of workshops with you during the spring. But today we have some other objectives. So Let's start what we have done so far. So we have cre created the website by using the WordPress platform. So it's that ibd.digital.sady.md. That's the platform we are used. We have planned all structures together. It's almost done. And if any modifications needed to be done, it will be done during this week. Uh, we have gathered information to be updated to the website. So it was something we did last time. It was something you did during your homework. And it's something we are publishing during this training on this week. 
we have learned skills to create digital material. Thank you, Esco, for this uh, great uh, presentation earlier. That you have learned to see that pedagogic behind digital learning is in, is not different than it's in traditional teaching. The form how we use the tools, how we use the things is different, but pedagogic behind the learning is the same always. And that's the thing we are trying to clarify for you step by step during all our trainings that how you can transform your traditional training to the digital training and vice versa. Because it's not always beneficial to use online environment and go to the back to the classroom, but we can use this kind of hybrid system to benefit all of us. But now we are concentrating to the digital learning and digital way to use. Uh, we have a plan to pu publish the website in February 2021. So it was postponed, but it's good to see that you have good skills and we have a good ideas for future to develop those further. And we have a plan to test the website before publishment and we will talk about it uh, actually on Thursday. So what we are going to do, what are the next steps? Today, this last one, a little bit over one hour, I will talk to you about how to use WordPress and how to update information. This is a short recap and I give some examples how to do it. It's really easy, but some of you might be new ones. Some of you might not be used uh, WordPress. So today we learn how to use it. Some of you are already familiar, but you can concentrate more to the specific teams what I'm presenting. This is what we are doing today. Tomorrow, we are updating new content to the website. That's the one main objective tomorrow. You have gathered information from, from your institute. You have gathered digital material. So now we are going to move this information to the platform. We will update all general information on the main pages of the institutions. Some of you can't do it, but that's for the people who are editors for the site. So the main users of the institutes are doing that way. We learn to create and publish new content for the website and we could use the same ideas of Bloom's taxonomy and any ideas we have used before to make it possible. And tomorrow we also learn to use different content types in WordPress. I will give it today some examples, but we do practical training between all sectors together tomorrow. And on Thursday, we get preliminary experiences and ideas from users before publishment. And that means that we are planning how we want to use this website in the future. And we make some kind of online survey for your own institutes to get ideas. Are we going to the right direction or should we change the direction and get some new ideas for the site? It doesn't mean that we need to change all, but something new, something extra for the site. And later on, we learn skills to make good use of the website and that will be after and on from February. And that will be a process where we learn multiplying skills to be digital experts. And you will learn to be digital experts in Moldova. That's the, our main goal. That's the main our objective. And we are putting as experts all efforts for you to help you be as good as possible. 
So let's continue. So what, how we continue? So today we learn how to use uh, this website and actually this administration website. And we have all created, we have created accounts for you, user accounts. And uh, I have a, this kind of a password for you. If there's anyone who wasn't here on last time, there might be at the moment a situation that you don't have a uh, user account, but we can solve it a little bit later. Uh, we learn some basic features from WordPress and we recap how to make and edit pages, posts and articles. That's the main thing. And we learn to add files, interactive content and external content during this training. I might need to skip some parts, but all the uh, parts are visible on the slides in the Google Classroom. And tomorrow we will work in breakout rooms and update all this information we are dealing with. So main page is uh, update the information, update the menus, update the, uh, and create and publish new information as much as we can tomorrow. And if we can finish it tomorrow, you can finish it uh, during the homework when before February. And on Thursday, we make um, check the state of the website. Then we make a plan for further development to follow and make that questionnaire. This is the plan for this week. So there's lots of things to do, but don't be worried. Basically it's small steps and you will learn all the skills during the week. So what is the WordPress? The WordPress is the world's most popular uh, website builder. Uh, it's the engine for our website. It does all the work, all the uh, sharing, all the things we need to get be in public. It gives our the tool to work with others. Uh, it has a multilingual user interface and I will show you how you change the language to the Romanian. Uh, today I will use English uh, version, but uh, you are always welcome to change it to Romanian. Uh, I have to notice that uh, uh, our website is hosted and administrated by Sadie. So they, this is on their server and they have uh, access and administration rights to the site. So they take control what happens on the site. So that's the agreement before. And all the content is administrated, modified and updated online. So there will be no uh, hardware or anything connected to the net from our, your site. It's uh, web hosted. So, first question for you is of course, how you log in as editor or an author to the site. And there's certain link you need to use. And it's this kind of like, uh, ipddigital.sadi.md and VP admin. If you go to the slides, you can click the link and you get to do that place. Your username will be your email address if you do not have had an account before this on to the site. So some of you ha already have a, a user account, please use that one. But uh, those who doesn't have used this before and have given us uh, web, uh, this uh, email during the last training, use that email address as your 
username. So that means it's, uh, for example, something dot something at gmail.com or anything you gave us before. And the password will be given now for you on chat. So it will be safety underline our way this there and 2020. So it will be in chat now. So let's do so that uh, you could try to log into the website. And uh, those who doesn't and have an account, please, uh, you can contact, for example, Andre Siopanu or Adrian Kora Sevitsi. They are administrators for the site and they can make the email for you. So I will add the addresses here to the chat too. Sorry, there was some... Dar noi avem unul pe instituție. Noi când ne-am creat o dată, noi am creat un cont pe instituție și o parolă pe instituție. Uh, Vesa, Vesa Iona, yeah. they said that... Uh, they are saying that they created uh, an account for the entire institution. Uh, so how will they work? So if you know who's the, in the response of the, this uh, common account, they can use that, of course. It's, it doesn't matter, but uh, it's good to know that if someone others on the institution have an account, they should use them too. So basically you are saying that they can use the same account on different computers? Basically, yeah. But they have also individual accounts. So basically I could show here that how it works. So I have my own account here and I log in. You should be able to get to the page something like this uh, during the login process. It's, it might be a bit different because I have admin rights here but uh, you should be seeing, uh, if you are editors, you should be seeing pages and uh, posts at least. If you are authors, you can't see pages. They have only introduction in WordPress. Maybe uh, something changed. Maybe colleagues have uh, something else. Sergio this, uh, said this, that they have something else. Okay, I just sent the link Maybe. to the, uh, here, to the chat. This should be a link to the login site. Let's
Dacă se poate încă o întrebare, la login scrim poștă electronică în care, cu care am intrat în Classroom sau altă poștă electronică? Question is, for login, are they using the email that they used for Google Classroom or another email? It will be the email you provided last time. So it was on the, this planning document. You give us giving email addresses and uh, uh, your institution for us how to, what will be the usernames for the website. So you were deciding who will be authors and who will be editors. So based on that list, we have done the user accounts. Merci. So if you have been able to log in, that would be great but we should continue on our team. After the, this session, I will be here and help you with the uh, subject if there's any other issues during with the user accounts. Yes, so let's continue on the team. So, There are a couple of things we need to see, and they are the main view where we are working with. So here's the picture, and here are some guidance, and I give you a good advice to use this document in the future if you are trying to edit anything on the side. So basically on here, upper corner, here, just a moment here, you see uh, the section posts. And it will be the section where you can work with articles and posts. You can edit those, you can add new ones, you can add any, this kind of content to the website. But if you have some pages, which should be quite uh, defined already, uh, but if you need new pages, you can work here in pages section. And this is open for editors, not authors. So basically it's something like structural thing that shouldn't be changed easily. It's something like basic structures for the website. The posts are the most important part in the future that you know how to make posts, how to make an article and how to put it to the website. That's the main thing. And uh, all in this right menu, you will find all information you need to uh, modify and where you have an access. So basically, this is the main menu, what is uh, the control menu for the website. On this uh, other section here, yeah, this big section is the working place to do all modifications and working. This is like Moodle or any online platform that you have a menu and you have a working room here. So basically it's quite easy. Something you could see now and I show it shortly. On this section here, you can change your account settings like language and password here. So let's go back here. Let's go here and now you see here is edit my profile. There's the Andre's picture, I don't know why, but I could edit it a bit later. Edit my profile and you will have a new window here. There's a lot of, lot of things you can use and some of those are not visible for you, but here is the section language and you can choose Romana. So basically 
this is uh, the way how you can say your own language to Romanian. You can add some information and so on and so on. And at the end, you can change your password here. It's quite easy. If you want to generate new password, you can do it. But if you want to uh, do it, uh, you can do it here. But basically, now I'm not updating, but generate password. I want to ask the colleagues, uh, do you see also the presentation in WordPress? Do you see it as I see or it changes? Colleagues, you are sharing, Vesayona is sharing the menu for WordPress and uh, as a user? Yeah. I can't access WordPress at all. I cannot log in. Yeah, we can talk it a bit later after this uh, session. It, we can't have a lot of time to deal with this. This is a known issue that when we have a WordPress that uh, it's not sending directly you the password, but the password is shared on the site. And uh, I will share the file later where will be your uh, yes, Ayona, they have yes. some problems accessing. Yeah. So and they don't communicate just, uh, is, is they have some problems, some of them. Yeah, and I would say that now you take good contrast, concentrate for the presentation and we deal with the problems after the presentation. Because we, could, we have a running propune să vă concentrați la prezentare și pe urmă o să, o să se discute și o să se analizeze toate, toate problemele respective. Remember also that uh, this is being recorded. Da, acord, dar oricum când lucrezi paralel este una, când mergi pe urmă este cu totul alta, adică ce ar fi bine ca anyway, să... Anyway, when we parallel, it would be better for us to work uh, along uh, with use of the... We c you can open our eyes to this platform, to the site. Last time we were connected everyone, but now I, we really cannot manage to connect, to log in. Maybe the password was not written correct. Cheat is written with uh, capital C, as I can yeah, see. Yeah, it's capital C, A, E, I, T, I, underline 2020. So let's see, I'll do something. Yeah. And if Adrian is able to help others also on the chat, it, that would be appreciated a lot. Uh, yes. Yes, and on the chat, I will share for you a file. Just a moment. There will be now a file. If you open it and find your name there, you will have an account. If you don't find your name, you won't have an account. So that's so simple. And uh, if you don't have an account yet, we will be creating those after this training. So you could send your email address to privately in chat to us so we can make it later. 
So basically the idea here is that here in this section, you can change your default settings, your password and your language for the site. That's the main thing here. So let's continue and let's see the things. I know that it would be good to work parallel, but we are running out of time. And if we are doing this one by one, this all user accounts, we are spending our or one and a half hour to do it because there might be need to do some uh, things and some justification in inside the WordPress. So when we go to the pages section and let's present it, we have a couple of options. We can add new pages over here or we can add new pages over here. Or if we already have a page we want to edit, we can click here, edit with KC, and you can edit this uh, uh, page you already have. These are three options to modify, add a page or modify the page. And it's important when you are moving your cursor over the page section and to the page you are wanting to change, uh, update, you can click this button here. It will be visible when you are over the title of the page. And when you click the next one, and if you add a new one, it is important and it's easier for you if you edit it with King Composer and there will be a button you should be using to be get more visual, more easier editor for the website. This uh, website here, this editor will be like a, a Moodle editor and it will work less convenient way for the users. And when you are editing the website, uh, the page, you add title here. You can always save a draft over here. And of course, you can always preview the changes as a, how it looks like on the real website, clicking on this button. It opens a new window and you will see how it look like, or it will open a new tab depending on your web browser. And here's the publish button you can use when you think you are ready to publish it. But don't do it before you are confident that it's okay and it's placed all right. Usually use this save craft as long as you are not publishing it. On this section here, you can add elements like uh, text, pictures, videos, anything you wish here. And you can of course decide how many paragraphs on the website will have, one, two, three, and you can add those uh, as many as you wish. And here is the section where you can use templates and uh, we have some templates already made so the you can always use tools to do. So how it looks like on the website, let's see. So pages, you see here the sections. And if we want to add, uh, edit already visible page, we can always go here, look for the website, the, the page, you can, we can search here the web, uh, the page and use it. But as you see, when I'm moving the cursor over the page, I can always click edit with KC and it opens to be edited. Yeah, it's quite important. But let's add a new page and let's see what happens. Uh, computer is a bit slow. I'll uh, put here test page and I click here edit with King Composer. 
So it changes the editor to be more convenient. So here I can add a, this kind of presentation which has one column and it's open here. And I can add any element I want to here. I can add text block, I can add flip box, I can add, add pictures like video player, I can add YouTube videos, I can add Google Maps, single image, image carousel, anything. And you can, you are free to test anything you wish for. This is a good and easy way to do things. So let's add single image and browse some image from here, for example, Facebook here. And let's see what happens. And when we are ready, all the effects we save and it's an element here. You can choose, move it anywhere you wish. You can add text content here, like text block and text here. And when you are ready, you are ready to save and you can always edit it on the screen as you wish. You can move this wherever you want and you can make for example, two elements section here, and you can add these two other elements. This is quite easy to do. You can do it and you can always check the process with the preview button and you see now how it would look like. This is the way how it works. Yeah, well, was there any questions? Of course, you can ask it at any time. Now I'm not publishing it, but if I would be ready, I would publish it with this button. One big thing when you are making your own site, own section of your sectoral, your institute. So if you are saying that this is page under some of your pages, you have to find the place where it goes. So if this, is the sub page of the Industria Usoara, then I would choose this one. Or if it's sub page of any of these, you should choose it. But uh, as I said, these pages will be uh, for the editors and those are quite uh, fixed already. But if there are any changes we need to do, we need to do it on this week. So this is how you edit the pages. The way how we edit the posts, the content for the site is quite uh, similar for any like this page editing. So I skip this one, but if you read this later, you get the idea where you find all these functions I just showed you. So, posts, content, articles. So, so many words, but in the WordPress, we are using the name post. And uh, as on pages, there are two ways at a new post. It's on this left menu here and there's at new post. And of course here on the main page you have at new, you can use that always. And as on pages, if you already have some post, so you can edit it with KC similar like you do the pages. Authors, editors, all of you can edit any post, any uh, article inside the web, uh, in the inside this WordPress platform. And uh, of course, some common rules don't do not please do not uh, interfere with others work. So if you are from a, like a construction, please don't edit pages or post what have the uh, safety, for example, made. That's the common good practice to do 
only edit content you have done and edit only add content you are using on your section. That's the main thing. And same as same with the um, pages, there's this edit. When you are adding a new post, please edit it within Composer. It will be easier for you. And uh, new post is quite easy. You add the add title here. You can save draft as pages here. You can always preview how it look like. You can publish it. But one different thing, here's the featured image. It's like a image, what's the uh, main image for the whole post. So if you have one picture you want to point out that this will be the representation for this whole post, please add it here and it will be visible everywhere on the site when it will be linked to the site on different places. And one important thing, I will show it a bit later, you will need to define what will be the category of this post and you will find the correct category from this menu here. Here's the same you can add elements, you can add use templates here. These are the same functions you could use on the page modification. And overall, if you edit the post, you can always save it here, save craft here, look previous, same functions, and you can edit the category over here. You can add the feature in it here. You can do all the functions over here. And of course, sometimes you need to change the name of the post. You can do it at any time if you need, think it would be better. This is not fixed and you can change it better if you are first making a draft uh, title, you can change it later or some other else. That will be a good one. And here, of course, you can edit and add things later. So let's go to the website back here, uh, over here. And as I said, here will be this post section. And here you can add new one, here or here, or you can go here and edit it with uh, in Composer. So now I'm editing it. Here's some content. This is a draft already, but it will be modified capable here, modifiable here. So basically I could add something here. I could uh, choose category here. And as you see here on categories, it will be defined by your uh, institution here. Just a moment. My system signed out me, so I have to log in again. So now it's working fine. So Alexei Matejevci, you have all these subsections, subcategories for you where you can put your own uh, posts and articles and say that if it's for this one, you can click it and it will go under that theme and so on and so on. If we, if we need to do some modification for this, we can do it tomorrow and I can help you with that one. And as you see, this is working quite fine at the moment. It's good. Or if we want to add a new one, it's quite easy. As I was showing before, you can edit with King Composer. It changes the editor. You can add title. And uh, you can add elements at two column 
place. You can add any element here and so on and so on and so on. So it's quite easy to handle. You can add media and please welcome, test it as much as you wish. So this is working fine. And uh, here, any modifications, you can preview it. And here in categories, I'll now put it under the test category. So now it's placed under the test and it will be found find on the place where it should be. And when it's ready, I'm just saving the draft, not publishing it at the moment, but I'm always able to preview changes over here. So it's important that uh, these basic functions, functions will be used. And uh, all the best is to think that the best way to learn to use WordPress is just to practice and do it in uh, real examples. As we now have, you have uh, this um, material already gathered before. Some of you have already put some information to the website. So if we look at the moment, the condition of the site, it's a bit different here. I need to check it out what's the going over here. So here's the main menu and there should be the these things. These shouldn't be here. So I need to check what has happened lately for the website. Someone has done something already. So editing these sections is not yet. These three shouldn't be here, but I will check it later. But we have here content. We have some content already here. I think so there's some content from Sadie. Here's some content from, okay, that's not updated. That's need to be updated. But if we look here, the preview page is already okay. And here's some information already updated. So there's a lot of information already available. So this looks quite good already. So there's lots of things to do, but uh, tomorrow we try to figure out what we'll be re reading on each page and what, where we'll be content going. So that's the main idea over here. So yes, something happening. It's going quite well at the moment. But there are some things we need to think together. And uh, it's more like things that we need to think when we are using the WordPress. It's not beneficial upload videos to the WordPress site. It takes just a limited amount of data we can add it there. And that's why it's important that we learn to use some other forms to link information to the website. And uh, it's important that if you are using YouTube, Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, Vimeo, or any other similar data source where you can upload your videos and documents, please use those one at first place and link the documents to the WordPress. It's easy from YouTube, if you have a link for the video and you add video in WordPress, you can add link to the, this element. So uh, that way we save a lot of uh, information and a lot of space on server of safety. So there's limited amount of data we can take it in. So that's why we should learn how to link the thing. For example, in YouTube, you can copy, for example, that we had this 
uh, video before. So let's go here. Just a moment, I will find it. Here is the video Esco shared earlier. So here we can copy this link or we can embed it to the website and tomorrow we learn how to do it and how to benefit of this feature. It's same that you need to find from Google Drive, for example, uh, just a moment, where it is, it's here. If we use uh, any, this is class drive, but we can always link the file to the website. So I get a link and it will be shared. This is the most beneficial way. And that way also the information will be reside on your server, on your files, and you can restrict access if you feel that you don't want to share it anymore. But the, the good practice is to share the information as long as it's relevant. So it's important, of course, check regularly that the information on the website will be updated. That's important. There's also something we show tomorrow that we have several ways to add interactive content to the website. And we have this H5P plugin. It's already installed in the WordPress. We have genial.li and it's similar like Tingling. It's a, this kind of interactive images, interactive content you can make online and embed it to the website. This is quite good services and we are getting more information about tomorrow. There's Microsoft Sway, it's a good one. And of course, there are some quiz tools, Kahoot, uh, Quizlet, and so on we can use. We can of course use Padlet if you want to, but it's not maybe the best tool for the website, but it's good tool for the teaching or any embeddable content, content for the site. That's the thing we are going through tomorrow. And uh, there are also some other ways to use uh, WordPress. There's plugins, this is more like administrators, but there's plugin like LearnPress. You can make uh, online courses for the site. You can use free online resources for the site. And uh, you can, of course, link this material you are making for the website for the further use on your trainings, in your teaching, or any other way you are imagining. The way in Finland we are using, for example, in Omnia, we are using this kind of similar website, Oppiva Omnia to use as a content database, as content bank for us. If any of our teacher has issues with the digital learning materials, we are linking a site, a post for them to check if it helps with their problem. I could say, show it here, like in, of privat.omnia.fi. This is in Finnish, but for example, if we have uh, learning in the uh, digital platforms, we have different, several different posts here accessible for anyone in Finland. And for example, here, here some instructions to use way for uh, students. And here's videos, here any content. And that way, if uh, students want to use Sway, we just link this page for them and they are able to read it anywhere at any time. There are some information for the teachers and so on and so on. So we have a lot of information available. How to use WhatsApp in the teaching. Uh, frequently asked questions for Blackboard and all the systems Omnia is using. And this is open for any 
uh, user in Finland. So basically, there are something like 60% of the visitors are from Omnia and 40% of visitors for the website are outside of the Omnia. So uh, I hope this gives you a, an idea how powerful tool this kind of website could be. And that's pretty much all we need to know about the WordPress. And uh, let's go back to the WordPress here. So basically what you need to know, so I have a little bit short recap. You can edit pages or you can edit posts uh, and make them to be visible. Most usual way after tomorrow is to make posts. We shouldn't edit pages if there's no permanent changes for the structures going on. So that's why we should stay using only posts, but editors can use the uh, pages. So to recap uh, the difference between the different roles, administrator can do anything. So administrators for the site is at the moment me, uh, Adrian, Andre Siobanu, and Adrian Gorave Pichi. So they are the main users and they can do anything possible here. But editors can moderate comments, manage categories, like these categories where I was showing on the posts, manage tags, it's not important on this side, uh, but they can edit and delete all posts or pages. So they have the rights to modify content on the site. And that's the quite strong uh, access. And that's why it's not given for everyone to be sure that no uh, harm will be happen during the process. But if you order, it basically means that you are content uh, creator and you create posts. You can publish posts, you can upload media files like pictures, videos, and so on, any files. And you can delete any published posts on the site. Please don't, because uh, uh, I would say that please, if you delete something, delete your own work. Don't delete others' work if you are not agreeing it together. And if you are deleting any published post, you need to know that you can edit and delete all information also, post all these posts on the site. So don't edit or delete any information which is not your own. That's the kind request for you. And of course you can read all public posts and pages on the site. So it's your privilege. So basically that means if you are order, you can go to the pages section, but you cannot edit. But when you go to the post, you can edit anything inside here. As you see, it has lots of information already. So if you don't find all on the first page your own uh, post, you can always search it from here. It's quite easy, it's quite handy, but it needs to be worked together. So that's the situation at the moment. So that was pretty much all I was going to tell you and now, we will go back to the presentation and you will have a homework today after it's just a short, uh, uh, this kind of Google form to be filled, fill it up. And there are some tasks you need to do. One, there's just a moment. At first, you should try to log in to the system once or twice that you are capable to use the system and log into the system. Uh, then 
you should, should change your password. And uh, if you have done it already, then you should change, if you want to, you don't have to, change the language settings. And uh, then you should try all things you, I have shown you today, but do not publish anything. That's important. And uh, here's the link for the document we made on, in September. Please go back there, try to rememorize how, what has happened, what you tried to do, and uh, what were the materials you already collected. Many of you have already continued with this section but if you have done any further work, please recall that before tomorrow. And of course, in the evening, please take snack, have a good sleep, and do not overstress what is going on. That's the main thing. And actually, now I will activate the homework for you. Just the moment, it might be here, not here. Yes, here, I'm going to the classroom, not uh, here. So we, those are the same questions and I will assign it for you. So now it will be visible for you. So we have a little bit time left. If there are any questions, now we are ready to continue with the questions with the user accounts, please ask and I will help you and I will show you how it works. Sergi, yes, he will resolve it. Gata, I am understood. I am reset that part. Uh, Sergio had an issue, but if you remember, but now everything is solved. Okay, that's but great. Great to hear you. The Anyone? password has been resetted. Okay, great. Is there anyone else needing help? Just raise your hand. That will help you. Help us to continue. I just told them uh, give the instruction where raise hand is. I told them either raise hand or write in the chat. Yeah. So that's let's good. wait for a few minutes. So there was some kind of questions from other side that if you are accidentally removing something, it uh, is reversible. And uh, the main thing is that if you see that you have done mistake, please tell us and we can help you. So there was one. So it says they did not have an account, but tomorrow they will contact Mr. Chobano. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good to hear. Is there anything Esco you want to share at the end or are we closing today and having a good sleep and hoping that we see all of you tomorrow? Yeah, uh, just uh, in short, the uh, homework, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, uh, about the website and also one question about regarding uh, what you heard and saw Ona talking about integration, different subjects or topics into one. 
So perhaps in, in your practical uh, work, in your everyday teaching, you don't have uh, similar ways of integrating, for example, general topics to uh, professional topics or subjects. But uh, if you have a different situation, uh, think uh, out of the box and um, see what, what kind of opportunities there might be to integrate even uh, with uh, any, any colleague. But yeah, uh, thank you from my behalf as well. Also, um, I realized that uh, there was some uh, issue uh, with the uh, settings with the Bloom's taxonomy spreadsheet. And um, I uh, changed some uh, options there. So now you should be able to uh, copy 